19 year old Sebastian Casa. You probably won't see him in the NHL. You always have to be cautious with goalies, but you can also be optimistic. You have to be optimistic that Steve Eisman has enough goalies in the pipeline that somebody's gonna hit. Because once again, do you believe in the Iser plan? Yes, sir. Uh, Sebastian Costa, 19-year-old. Uh, some will say he's a wonder kid. The 15th overall pick uh, a few years ago by Steve Eiserman. Uh, just wrapped up the WHL playoffs. Uh, they just won the championship. He was the most outstanding player. He had won, I believe, his five player of the week awards uh, during that stretch. He has been phenomenal. A sub two goals allowed on average. Uh, the kid is playing at an exceptional level. My question, Terry, is it's not often we see a 20, 21, hell, even 22-year-old goalie, rookie, walk into the NHL and just hit. A uh, Goalie is a position that <clears throat> takes a lot of time. And in the WHL, you're playing up against, I don't want to say the, not the best competition, but let's just call it what it is. Once you get to the AHL. You're going to see a lot of kids, oh, not kids, you're going to see a lot of guys that will be called up to the league and sent back down to the minors. You're going to be going up against much better players. So caution in the wind, maybe with Sebastian Casa, but the kid looks legit. You always have to be cautious with goalies, but you can also be optimistic that this could be the guy. You have to be optimistic that Steve Eisenman has enough goalies in the pipeline that somebody's going to hit. Uh, he's got a bunch of young goalies. Uh, he's got prospects. He's got young goalies on the team. Somebody you would have to believe is going to hit. And maybe it's going to be this guy. Because once again, do you believe in the Iser plan? Uh, I'm looking at the Tampa Bay Lightning. And yes, uh, there's a bunch of players on there that he did not uh, select because he's been gone for a while. But to me, this looks like Steve Eisenman's team. Or I associate it with Steve Eisenman's team. If he can do it in Tampa, he can do it here in Detroit. So the thing with, uh, I'll use Tampa as an example, Andre Vasilevsky. Yes. In 2014, he was 20 years old. Yes, sir. All right, born in 94. He was 20 years old in 2014. He made his debut in the NHL. He played 13 games. Okay. In his second season at age 21, he played 21 games. Skew. At age 22, he played 47 games. And then at age 23, he took over the reins completely for the Tampa Bay Lightning, where he then, since then, has started 65, 53, 52, 42, short season, by the way, and then a 63, uh, 63 games in a season. He's their guy, right? He's he the became guy. their guy at 23. Third in the Vesna Award. First uh, to a two-time All-Star. Conn Smythe winner. Vesna winner. Uh, finished in the top three in the Vesna Award four consecutive years. Likely this will be the fifth. And he may even have a chance to win it. Having said all that, this is a guy. Let's just, again, 19-year-old Sebastian Casa. If I just use what is successful around the league... You probably won't see him in the NHL till the end of next season. And then he'll play 15 maybe games to 19 a second year. And maybe year three, Eisenman pushes him up maybe earlier. And he's just that good. And he can take it over at 22. Or you wait till he's 23. All I know is next year he's going to get called up, get five, six, seven starts, I believe. That's what I would do at 20 years old. And then at 21 years old, I'd keep him on the roster for the whole season, give him about 14 starts. And then year three in the league, I would I would send him out there if he's good enough. Because you're not going to know just from him putting up shutouts in the WHL. That's just no, you it's nice. Know. It's nice. It's, uh, conv it's encouraging is the word. It's encouraging to see, right? Well, he's not um, giving up nine goals a game or something <laughs> stupid like that. <laughs> no, and, that, like that and that's always a possibility. But um, the the big word, the P word, is what you're kind of hinting at is patience. Yep. Um, I don't think you need that goalie to take the next step. And to me, the, for the Wings, the next step is getting in the playoffs with a five or six seed. You don't need that guy to get there. 
you probably need that guy to take the, the step after that. Not only making the playoffs, but being a pain in the ass to play, being somebody that can win just about any series that they're in. So um, the timetable seems right. You know, if you're talking four years down the road, it, that might be the perfect fit for the Wings to have him in place and to be that goalie that's going to win you some playoff games or some playoff series. 100%.